Hi everybody, Nikos Bafidis here from Sunny Cyprus and today's video tutorial is all about backing up our work. Now this tutorial is useful for absolutely anybody who has a 365 account but particularly for educators it's really useful because you're going to learn how you can save all those resources which you have either in OneDrive, in OneNote, especially OneNote class notebook and Microsoft Teams, class Teams in particular. Now, it's really useful if you are moving to another school or you're just really conscious about to your files. You don't want to lose the resources and all the hard work that you've put into creating these resources for your students. Being able to back these up is really common sense. So we're going to be learning how we can back up our files from OneDrive, from OneNote and from Microsoft Teams. And the first one that we're going to start with is Microsoft OneDrive. So let's begin. OK, so we can see here I've got two windows open, this window here, the one on the right and this one over here on the left. On the right, this is my backup storage. This is my external hard drive. And on the left, I can see my OneDrive application open, my Windows OneDrive application open, which is synced with my OneDrive. Now, I'm going to show you two ways. One way is to simply back up your work from the OneDrive application. And the other method is going to be to back up your work from the online version of OneDrive in case you don't have OneDrive sync. So from here, it's actually really, really easy to do. It's simply a matter of copy pasting your files from one location to another. If you do notice, so these little clouds, this basically means that these files or these folders are not completely downloaded onto your local drive. Now, the ones with the green tick, that means that folder and all of its contents is completely downloaded to your drive. This is not a problem because if we have a look at these two here, I'm just going to take these two uh, Lenovo uh, 300D drivers and the land school folders that I have. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, drag over, or I can just copy paste and paste over here or basically copy over here. And you're going to see that these folders, if I drag that down, these are actually now downloading from the from the cloud to my OneDrive application and then they will be copied over to my backup drive on the right. So I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, so we can see the process is completed. That took a little bit longer. I'm actually backing up onto a, a USB drive and not a very fast one either. So that took about three minutes. It's about 500 megabytes. So by no means is this going to be a really quick process if you've got a large amount of work but you can back up your files. And I do suggest you do it in chunks. Don't select your whole OneDrive folder and just copy paste it in one go. Do it in chunks, it's much easier. So that's using your file explorer with OneDrive synced to an external hard drive. The other way that you can do this is directly from your OneDrive online. So this is my online OneDrive. So I've logged into my 365 account, I've opened OneDrive. So the first thing is to select what you want to download. I'm just gonna download this folder and again, don't download the entire OneDrive in one shot. Do it in chunks. Now, when you do select to download a folder or multiple folders, it's going to archive these together and put them in a zip file. So I tend to, either by the timestamp or whatever, give them a, a number. And that way I can um, always, when I'm going to extract it, I know what's inside each one or at least which uh, chunks are contained in each zip file. So I'm just going to download this very quickly. So I'm just going to select that and download. Or if you click multiple files like this, you can simply choose the download button at the top. For, for, but for time's sake, I'm just going to click here and just choose download. And you're going to see down here, it's downloading. There you go. It's already completed. And it's going to download this in your downloads folder. So I'm just going to drag this over here so you can see it. And it's downloaded this. And it actually gives you a date stamp as well. 18th of the 9th, 2022. And if I double click on this, you can see what's inside here. So you can now go and extract this and put this onto your uh, external hard drive or just save those archive files directly. So that's basically storing or backing up your files from OneDrive, either from File Explorer or from OneDrive Online. Let's now go to Microsoft Teams. So here I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm in my teacher training team. This is a class team we're going to focus on class team because class team will also include the ability to back up work from your students so whether it's a class team a staff team or any other kind of team this process will work now the new features in microsoft teams 
has actually made the process of downloading and saving your work so, so much easier because you're able to access all of these different areas directly from Teams before we had to go to the SharePoint site. And what do I mean by this? So if I go to the files section in my general channel, I can see here my general, my files area here. I've also got my class material section. But if we have a quick look, first of all, if I look at this, uh, ICT channel, which I've got here, I've got another file section. So every channel has its own file section that may have its own files. Now from the general section, if I go to files and here next to general, I click on documents, I can actually see the folders or the files of every channel that I have in this team. And it's really easy to access them. So if I just click here on ICT, I can see what's inside there without having to go to that channel and clicking on files. Now, why is this really good? Because I can select this folder here and I can simply either share it or I can download the entire folder. So this is going to make it so much easier for me to do it. So if I was to download all the files in this particular channel in the file section there, I'm just going to click on download and that's going to download. And if I go into my downloads section here, you're going to see there it is, my ICT zip. I only had one file in there, but there's my folder and there's a file inside. So we can do this for each one of our channels. That's the first thing. We can also do this um, with any section. For example, here's the important one. So here the, where we are in documents, you can see this little library button here. So if I click on this, now you can see all these different files. So I've got my class files. OK, so this is where my assignments were assigned. And you can see all of these assignments that I gave. I can go and back all of these up. So let me see if I can see this Minecraft code agent. These are just like sample ones. So most of these are going to be empty. But let's see if I've got anything here with some work in here. No, nope, I don't. But anyway, let's try that one. No, that was a quiz. There you go, this understanding tables. So you can see the work that I gave for this assignment. I can very easily go to assignments and download any one of these. Or from here, I could just select uh, assignments and download that entire folder. So much easier. Now, what are all these here? Reading assignments. So if you've assigned any work to students the read using reading progress, where students will actually read the passage and AI would actually identify how many words were uh, pronounced wrong or grammatical mistakes and this, that, the other. The recordings are actually accessible from here. So you can actually go from here and access those recordings. I'm not sure if I've got anything in here. Let's have it. So there we go. I've got a student here and I can just go and download their recording. So here's student one. Oh, that one doesn't have one. Let's go have a look. This one, there you go. There's the recording for that student. I can back that up. So I can do all of this directly from files. So if I just go back, posts, files, go to documents, click on the library. These are all the reading assessments. Now, uh, staff materials. This is actually class materials. I renamed it because I was actually trying something. So if I want to that, find everything in the class materials, I can do that from here. No issues there. Again, if I click here, the really important one now, student work all the files which students have submitted and all the work that they've done and they submit it through Teams. If you go to student work, you can go see the submitted files and the working files and you can back these up. You can just select this and click on download and you've got all of that work. OK, so you can actually download everything. Which you've uh, assigned to students, any resources that you've given directly from teams you don't need to go to the sharepoint site anymore all right now then the last one we're going to have a look at is going to be the one no class notebook now this is going to be the same whether it's a one no class notebook or if it's just the notebook which you're syncing but the important thing is you have to have it synced with your one note application so let's get started with that so here i am in teams and i've got my class notebook open for this class team and I've got all my students here on the left hand side. But the problem is, if I want to be able to back this up, there's no way of doing it directly from here. And there's no way of doing it from the online version either. I'm going to have to open this in my OneNote application, my desktop app. Now, 
the idea is I want to be able to save this in such a way so that I can open it in OneNote and have all the features, all the files accessible and editable. I don't want to print off my entire OneNote as a PDF because that just takes away the editing abilities. I want to be able to package and save this entire OneNote, including all the student work and absolutely everything intact. So to do this, I need to be able to open my OneNote class notebook in the desktop application. Now to do this, I'm gonna go here where it says open in browser. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna to go to open in desktop application. I can open it in the browser as well, but I'm not able to export my OneNote from there. However, if you were in the browser, let's say you've got a OneNote class notebook, which was not generated from Teams, the process will be exactly the same. At the top, you will say open the OneNote in your desktop application. So by clicking on this, it's going to open your OneNote application. And you can see here my teacher training notebook, and you can see all of uh, my files here, all the students are in here, all the student work as well. And if I do have a quick look, if I click on this student here, you can see, actually let's go to one that's actually got a little bit of work in here. This is, this is just a test team, so you can see I've got some uh, notes here, some homework, a bit of web design, breakout room, fun stuff. Okay, so this is work that the student has. And what I want to do now is to export this so that I can save it and open it whenever I want. So the idea is from the application, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export. And I'm not going to export the page. I want to export the entire notebook. So I'm going to go to Notebook. And I'm going to choose OneNote package. Here is a one PKG. Now, when I click on this, and quite a few people have noticed a small error coming up saying that it can't export all of the sections because they're not totally synced. The, your, your notebook has to be entirely synced first. So if you just want to make sure how to sync your notebook, my one's still syncing here at some point, but you can right click on your notebook and say, uh, sync this notebook now that's going to give you information about the syncing process. I'm not gonna do that now. And you can actually see the sync process here. The other times where you might see an error is this. Let's say you've made some changes here, which cannot sync. So I've actually gone and deleted some student information from here. I've actually deleted entire students by doing something like this. So if I want to remove this student here, presenter eight, I'm going to right click on him and delete. That's going to delete it from here, my local version, but you, it won't delete it from the student from the online version, okay? Because it's part of the Microsoft Teams um, package. So what I'm gonna do now is I, with this one note here, I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Export, and I'm gonna choose a notebook, one note package, and I'm gonna click on Export. It's gonna ask me where I'm going to save this. I'm just gonna put this in my downloads. I'm gonna put that there and just click on Save. And you're going to see now there you go. Can you see that there? One note, it's actually packing. Here it is. So it's actually packing it now. But it says here, one note cannot pack these sections uh, because some sections have not yet been fully synced. So you need to make sure everything is synced and then it will do it properly. But if you do get this message and it is synced, you feel that your uh, one note is synced and you get this message, don't worry. Just continue anyway. Yes and it will export your OneNote package. So let's just wait for that to finish. It's actually quite quick because it's already downloaded. It's already synced to your device. Okay, and now if I go to the download section here, I can actually see there it is. It's a 1PKG. And if I double click on this now, it's going to open it in OneNote. It's going to ask me, this is the name of the OneNote. This is its location. Okay, this is where it's going to put it in Documents, OneNote, Notebooks, Create. And when I create that, it's going to create that notebook and it's going to put it in OneNote application for me. But it's a local copy. Let's not get confused here. If you go and start making changes or adding pages to here, your OneNote class notebook online, these will not appear. This is a local backup copy which you can at any point in time, very easily just double click on this and it will install the entire notebook in your OneNote application again. Okay, so why don't I just do that? Let me just do a quick create there and it's just going to create it again at the bottom. 
There it is there. That's the one that is just created. This is the previous one at the top. Let me collapse this. So you know this is the online one because it's syncing. This is the offline one. And you can see here all of the students, all of the work is here. So I have this one here. There you go. Can you see all the students work as well? So that's it, guys. That's how you can very easily go to your either OneDrive online and download everything. You can go to Microsoft Teams and directly from Teams, you can download everything, especially with the new features with the libraries feature at the top. And from OneNote desktop application, after you've synced a class notebook or any notebook from the desktop application of OneNote, you can actually export the OneNote as a package, which you can store and save and import anytime you want. I hope you've learned something new. I hope you find this video useful. If you have, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.